the floor is lava. Hello everybody and welcome to Fukin Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to create this effect of lava floor. This is a very stupid video that I posted on Facebook and Twitter and uh, someone asked me on how to make this effect if I could make a tutorial so I said alright because uh, you know this is a very easy tutorial to follow unless you have to make some rotoscope like I had to but anyway it's still easy and you need absolutely nothing for following this tutorial all the effects the level floor everything is made inside After Effects unless you want to use you know some overlays of particles or dusty lens and so but anyway let's go to um, our footage uh, the first thing that you have to do is a cut exactly where you want your um, lava floor appear or if you want to the lava to be always there you don't have to do any kind of cuts so I have my cut here and we're going to make now our lava the first thing that we're going to do is create a new solid um, we're gonna call this solid matte because this is not going to be the actual lava. This is just going to be a matte of the. Oops. All right. This is gonna be a matte of where the lava is going to appear. So I just have to take the mask tool, and I have to follow this path over here, so that the lava only appears right here. Okay, and that's it. All right, now we can put a little bit more of feather, maybe tang. And now we're going to make the lava. We're going to add a new solid. We're gonna call this one lava. I'm always uh, uh, splitting the layers here because here is where everything is going to start happening and I'm going to put here uh, the alpha inverted mask mat no sorry the alpha mat here so that it only appears here in the mask that we just created and I'm going to add the first fall a fractal noise effect we're going to select dynamic so that it gives this kind of perspective that is like a circular I don't know if you can see it it's created like by circles um, we're going to put a little bit more of contrast something like this uh, I'm going to open over here on transform mode I'm gonna put the scale up so that it looks bigger something like that um, now we have to animate it a little bit so we have to go to the very first frame where our lava appears check here on evolution go to the very last frame and animate it a little bit you know don't do it too too much just going to check if it's okay like this it should be slow you know like this I think it looks nice like this and now we're going to give a little bit more of a perspective to this so we're gonna add an effect that I found out not very long ago and it's pretty useful it's called corner pin you drop it in here and now you have these dots at the corner so that you can choose what kind of perspective it's going to have so I put these two corners over here and I take these two somewhere over here so that it gives the impression that the lava follows the perspective that the camera has and it looks really nice now we're going to uh, give the texture the color bird said we're going to first of all add an invert channel effect drop it there and we're gonna add now a colorama effect now we can go to the output cycle and it has a pretty cool preset called fire I don't find oh, okay here fire so that you can see it already gives us the uh, the texture like it's lava like it's fire I'm actually gonna take the size where's it over here and scale it up even more something like that and if you don't like the the texture that it has you can always uncheck this invert effect 
and try if you like it more this way. I prefer it the other way, like this. So, okay, we already created a nice lava texture. Um, now we have to, well, I have to make myself look on top of this footage. Um, for making that, this is here selecting the footage that you have. Go uh, checking this uh, rotor brush tool, double click on it, and now you have to, you know, paint on top and select only what you want to appear. Hold Alt to select what you don't want to appear. And you know, it's going frame by frame, doing all these uh, steps. And you can check this word it here, use motion blur so that it has uh, motion blur, the movements and so. But I already created a, a rotoscope so that it doesn't give a, too much, it doesn't take us too much time. I'm going to delete it. And I have my rotoscope created here in Love Mat this one and I'm going to drop it in here so that you can see it now what we want to do is take the lava and put it on top of everything so that we can add some glow to it and the glow looks over it and the glow doesn't affect the rest of the footage how do we make this well first thing is taking the mat and lava solids precomposing them I'm giving the name for example lava and now we want to add a mat to this layer that we created. So we're going to use the rotoscope that we created and we're going to check alpha inverted mat. Now we can take the two of them and choose pre compose and call this, for example, lava mat. I was just wondering if I did everything right, but yeah, I think I did. So that now you can see that you have the mat of the of the lava down and now we can start adding glowing and effects to it so we're going to add a the glow effect I'm gonna drop it on top and um, we're gonna put a threshold I think I'm gonna leave it like that actually but we're going to take the radius up something like that um, maybe leave the intensity just like that and now we want to duplicate it and we want to put the threshold maybe a little bit up take now the radius and put a very high value something like around 300 something like that and maybe less intensity something like this and now we want to duplicate it one last time uh, maybe we can keep the same radius, but I mean the same threshold, but the radius I'm definitely gonna pull it up again, something like that, and put a very low uh, glow intensity, maybe that four, something like this. So you can see that we already have the sensation of heat, the sensation of uh, something real, just over here. Maybe I can take the first glow that we created and put the radius maybe a little bit up and less intensity. You know, play around with the values until you get a, an effect that you like. Now, the lava looks pretty cool, but uh, the rest of the footage doesn't. What do we have to do? Well, we're going to add an orange solid. like this and we're gonna call this I don't know heat color for example when I make it appear only when our fed starts appearing and we're going to mask it a little bit I'm going to turn it off by now I'm going to take the ellipse tool take it somewhere around there and I'm gonna put it now on a where's it soft light take the feathering options I'm gonna put it to the maximum I'm gonna take it up something like that and now I can duplicate this one put it on hard light but take it down somewhere over here well and of course take the two of them below the lava mat footage so we can see that this is already start to look to look good. 
you can try maybe taking the lever mat and putting it maybe to add mode effect or to screen mode this is up to you i'm gonna leave it like this actually looks cool on add mode maybe it's too much in screen mode it looks nice like this we can add now some particles on top i'm gonna use this one that i found on youtube you, you can find them uh, it's called far particles it's on the channel darner footage so i'm gonna add it on top adjust it to the composition and just put it on add mode again cut it there and you can see the particles it gives the impression that uh it's something real you know it's not only the floor and that's all and now we want to add a, a heat distortion now if you have a uh, the heat distortion plugin from video copilot that's awesome because uh it's a really nice plugin but if you don't have it we can do it um natively here in after effects so we have to pre-compose everything pre-compose it and call this layer for example effects and now we're going to add i'm going to cut here again and now we want to add a turbulent displace effect turbulent displays and um, we can play around a little bit here we can put the amount maybe 20 small amount not too much the size very small like 14 stuff like this so that you can see that it creates some curves and now we want to animate the evolution so we have to check here on the very first uh, frame go to the end and animate it something like that and you will see how if you go frame by frame you will see how it animates it changes okay well you can almost not see the difference that's because uh i didn't animate it too fast but you know you can play around and this was basically it oh god my face and uh, basically, the last thing that we can do is adding a dirty lens footage, well, footage or just an image. This, for example, an image that I got from actionbfx.com. It's a very nice effect, a very nice page, sorry, that has lots of um, footages and so. We can put it to add mode. And maybe we can try playing a little bit with the curves taking the blue down and also a little bit of the green something like this and we can also draw a mask once again oops selecting here so that it affects only to the part where you can see the lava and feather it up put it actually little for more something like that so this was basically it. this was what i want to show you on how to create this effect i hope that you found it helpful that you enjoy it and that you apply it somehow to one of your videos please feel free to show me uh, your creations after following my tutorials i love to see how people follow my tutorials and they create stuff with them so i really hope that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya